Kalamazoo County held a news conference to talk about their response to these tornadoes. Yeah, that was just about four o'clock. 13 on your side's Julia Gorman joins us now with details, including the latest information the community needs to know. Julia? Juliet Elena, a good evening. And yeah, we saw um, officials from the county, Kalamazoo County, also the mayor of Portage here where we are right now. Also folks from the Red Cross all present at that press conference. And ultimately this is, as we've been saying, a devastating situation, but everyone is just so thankful, uh, really just thanking their lucky stars that no lives were lost in this tragedy, which I know all of us across the state of Michigan are really feeling grateful for this afternoon as we continue to assess this damage. You're taking a look here at just some of the scenes. There are just so many across here in Portage uh, where the damage is so significant. A couple of high points for you from that press conference. Uh, we do know that there is still a lot of work to be done uh, cleaning up from this storm. But when you drive through Portage and you drive through Kalamazoo County, progress is certainly being made. So many hands hard at work right now. Uh, we do know that thousands of trees are down. You can see some of those just around me right now. Many of them are uprooted really large trees. We know from Consumers Energy that there are 160 electric crews who are working, 70 gas crews, all to just work to restore this area to what it was before that severe weather. Uh, intersections and traffic is still a big problem right now. Power restoration, of course, a top of mind for folks. We are expected, uh, Consumers Energy told us that they are expecting to have the majority of folks, uh, their power back on by midnight tonight, but there will still be more folks who will be waiting for power to turn back on tomorrow. Ultimately, the officials in our area are so grateful that alert systems worked effectively. Uh, they are really just appreciative that those went smoothly. Uh, here's a little bit more from the county. It was a tight regimented operation last night. I was honored to watch it unfold here. They had teams of units going through every single neighborhood, boots on the ground, checking every single residence where a person could need help. Um, and we felt very strong I, they, that uh, every corner of town was being covered. Now, the most just important piece of information, if you are without shelter right now, call 211. They can get you any resources you need. There is a church open that has spaces um, available. Kalamazoo First Assembly of God, if you need it, go there for shelter right now. We'll have much more coming up for you uh, on 13 on your side at 6. For now, live here in Portage, I'm Julia Gorman, 13 on your side.